MZ Music. MZ Music is good. MZ we'll go with MZ is Music. Because, yeah. I mean, even Valheim's BGM, it gets, like, silent for a while. And you just hear, like, the monkeys that are supposed to be deer. Uh-huh. <laughs> the gibbons. The gibbons, yeah. yeah. And we're live! Polka Latte! Polka Latte's first, y'all. Y'all slipping. Nice. What's up, Barrow Claw? Sir Legna's here. Got to think of a crazy question for Drifty. Yeah. How's how's it going, everybody? Today, we're going to be playing with some RPG Maker, MZ. I'm going to look at my project a little bit. Skirt around it. See, uh, see what needs to be worked on. And, uh... Maybe make a little progress, listen to questions, hang out with people. I think that'll be good. As usual, feel free to ask any questions that you may have about the engine or anything related to what I'm doing or game design in general. What's up here is of Equilibrium. Waffles is here, DVD. Yeah, caught slipping. Caught slipping on what? Oh, what? Did you hear me talk at the beginning of the stream? Nah. I give you guys insight. I give you guys the the full experience. It says no data. Surely it's streaming. YouTube's bugging right now. YouTube, quit tripping. Yeah, I know it's streaming. It's not showing right numbers either. Oh, there it goes. Excellent connection. Okay. Get on your game. Get on your game. Alright, I'm going to make the Black Mage. Um, I'm going to play to test the Black Mage skills and stuff. Do do, do, do. The best way to test your game is to play it over and over. See how it feels. What I need to do is change something. Here we go, this is the login screen. We'll start transparent, the player right there. And I need to start some servers. Let's start the MySQL database. Get that running. All right, then we'll start our Node.js client that will host the server. Always run your servers as, as administrator. Pro tips. Waffle says, ha, my question. If you have six classes, but you only have a playable four classes because the other two are locked, how do you make it so drops know which classes are playable and only drop those class items? Instead of having six different variables for every item and drop. You make your loot drop tool like mm, par parallel, uh, not parallel, common event. Right? So we have our random, let me find it because I kind of have one. Here's random loot generator. So I'm checking here the player's level and then I'm deciding what items drop based on the player's level. But once you do it like this, all in a script call, you can essentially, um, let me copy this. And I'll go in VS Code and show you a better view of it. You can make your own conditions. You can say if player party member is this, then you can have them drop. Like say they're the warrior, then you can just include all the warrior drops. Let's bring this down here. Poof. What is this? We'll just delete this.
Frontrunner server is running, the Socket.io server is communicating with the client and also the MySQL database. Now we can cha change this plain text to say that this is actually JS. It'll look easier to read. So at the start, we're making an item list. And in this item list, you just put like, so you're gonna do your conditions in game, right Waffles, where you, you do a conditional branch, new conditional branch, and you go to actor data, somewhere, actor, class, swordsman, right? You do an else branch. And then if they're the swordsman, then you put this in inside here. Otherwise you put, you do another conditional. So you'll nest them else if the knight. Copy, paste, else if. You, you get what I'm saying, right? And inside the contents here, you'll be putting this script call, but you'll be changing what items are in the loot pool. So you can make whatever type of conditions you want. And it can go as far as you need it to go and have all kinds of different conditions. And the loot pool will change and you can manually curate that loot pool based on whatever conditions you want to set. And the loot pool, th this is gonna be one way to do it. All you have to do here is put in your um, the item numbers you want. Here's your item list, item numbers, blah, 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 item count. This is for items, but you can do the same thing for um, game data weapons. So right here, we're accessing data items. But if we were to change data items to data weapons, then this entire, then all these numbers would, would correlate with weapon numbers in your database. Same thing, data armors, you just change items to armors. Everything else can stay the same. You just change this to armors, and then all of these are going to correlate to armors that's in your your loot pool. Does that make sense? What is this? I can't read this. My head hurts. Well, let me just copy-paste it for you. All right. Join us on Discord, everybody. It's a great way to communicate, hang out with everybody. I don't know, did I link the stream today? I don't think I linked the stream. I'm gonna go to the code dump and drop a fat dump in here. <laughs> bang, bang, bang. Paste, bang, bang, bang. At waffles. There you go. You don't have to understand it. I mean, you do need to understand it a little bit. You're gonna change data items to data weapons. Change items to weapons or armors to make it look for weapons or armors instead of weapon items easy right the numbers you put in are the item numbers item weapon armor numbers easy peasy Super duper lemon squeezy. Wait, I don't think I shared the stream. Let me let me do the sharing. Let's tweet that out. Ooh, Robert Pernero put out some new stuff today. Like That's awesome. Yeah, let me retweet that. Bam. Sick. Sick 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 sick. There we go. Eight, 
Anyway. Back to what I was doing. Sir Legnell, why aren't you says why aren't you using a better script call plugin? I am using your your uh, your plugin for better script calls, but I just haven't needed it for this. I don't need it for this because it all fits. That plugin is for when it doesn't fit. That's what she said. Make a new project and show me. No waffles. I already did it. <clears throat> I just did it in this game. But how does it call items in games? In game? Like, where do I put the common event? In the treasure chest! Or, like, after your... After your event. You're so late I asked that like an hour ago. I'm sorry. I kind of feel sick today, to be honest with you. I don't feel very well. Um, yeah, like you just... Whenever you want to call it, you can call it as a common event. In any event, you go to the, the contents and on tab one under flow control, there's common event and you select, you know, that one, which I called it random loot generator. And then boom, <clears throat> boom, it'll do that. It'll check whatever conditions you set and then run the script call, which will give an item. Thank you, Blue Dragon. Oh, thanks guys. It's cool. I don't, I'm all right. <laughs> we finished Valheim 3 a.m. every day. It takes a toll. It does. Yeah. It's as easy as that. Now, the only difficult part is if you're doing traditional random encounters. And then if you're doing that, um, then what you'll have to do, you can still do it with random encounters, right? So how would you do that if you wanted to use random encounters? You'd create a drop, you'd create an item. We'll call it loot bag. Loot box. And a loot box will drop random stuff. Randomly uh, holds random items and you can give it a price if you want it will be consumable regular ally but it doesn't need a scope so none and then occasion I would say probably just menu but you can do it in battle if you wanted to I, I don't see a problem with giving it an animation as well you can just assign it an animation There we go. <clears throat> and you would call that common event inside of here. So random loot generator, just like that. And then um, you can assign this item as a drop on the enemies. So just go to your enemy and where they have drops here, you just assign that. And say you want to, <laughs> is hoarding loot boxes. Maybe, you know, if we get the player auction system going, you'd be able to sell these to other people. And the item that you would get out of it would be different than the item that somebody else would get out of it because um, the conditions you put in the common event. You get it, Waffles, sweet. You just And if, say, you have more than three things, there's a plug-in that lets you like have more you can make your guy drop like 15 items and like you could have it so that this is a common this is uncommon this is slightly more uncommon this is rare and you can have like an extremely rare drop go to plug and help if you're using Vigestella that is 
think it's items equip core. I wish there was a control F function right here. It'd be good. <clears throat> I know we've said this a million times. Gosh, I'm going to control A and copy and then go to VS code. Control F and we're going to do like drop. No results for drop. Okay. Maybe it's in the battle core. Okay, let's go here and undo and then paste again. No results for a drop? Drops. Maybe it's the main uh, core engine. Control A, Control C. Let's go here, Control Z, Control V. Nothing, huh? I know for sure that there's a way to add extra enemy drops. In MV, it's the extra enemy drops plugins. Very, or in MV, it's the extra enemy drops plugins. Very easy in MV because everything is split into their own individual plugins. Which, I mean, I kind of prefer. I'm not going to lie to you. At this point, I prefer them being split because I could never find shit anymore. It's very convenient that, um, like, when you look at your list, your plugin list, that there's not as many plugins. However,. It's harder because now you have to guess which plugin, look through all the parameters. It's actually harder when you put like a hundred plugins in one plugin. I mean, I didn't think that'd be something I would be complaining about, but I kind of am now, I guess. It's so great when, um, when I'm like, oh yeah, it's it. I still the remember the name of it. Extra enemy drops. But where's that inside of MZ? I don't know. It's good. Your guess is as good as mine. What's up, Aslan? How you doing? <clears throat> you bought the $100 pack? Yeah, I've got that too. That's what I liked because you get so many plugins. Like, it's not the number because like I said, like, for example, the core engine is like 100 plugins. They put like 100 plugins in here. And... I, I don't know. It's just really, it's really hard to find what you're looking for. You know what I wish? I don't know. It, I don't know how, as like a plugin developer, you can't please everyone and it's impossible to do that and you shouldn't try and don't feel bad when you don't because it's just not going to work. You just kind of have to go with what you think is better and and let the let the cards fall where they are where they do you know um at first i really liked that there was just so many plugins packed into one but like i said i can't find i can never find where I, what i'm looking for anymore and people ask me and i'm like oh yeah that's uh in uh that exists I, it's definitely in here somewhere uh let me look for it for 20 fucking minutes sorry for that phone Anyway, it's definitely in here. Extra enemy drops is somewhere. Here it is. It's actually a four plugin. It's not in the core. I'm so used to having to look into a core. So yeah. My ramble is the same. <laughs> I mean, this one is a standalone plugin, which is great. I'm glad they decided to make this one its own thing. They could do that. They can make more smaller features plugins, and I'm totally cool with that. We don't need massive 100 plugins in one plugin. Plugins. Did I say plugin enough? <laughs> anyway, I found it. It's here. It's Vigistella MZ4 Extra Enemy Drops. Nobody else sh knew that either. Nobody was telling me. <laughs> If only you could have the best of both worlds. It's just, you can't, you can't. It's, it's impossible to like, 
I feel bad for plugin developers. I write script calls and put videos on script calls, and I get like a million people telling me, you're fucking dumb, you're stupid, you don't know shit, this is wrong, it never work. Like, damn, I'm not even trying to sell a plugin here. I'm just like <laughs> putting random script calls up, That's and true. I'm getting shit on. So like, I don't want to be a plugin dev, man. Very true. She's so quiet today. She's typing. She's doing support tickets. Yeah. There was like 40-something tickets last night. Yeah. She's been, she was working on them all day. I was like, damn, you started like at 1-something. <laughs> Mondays are usually... And it was like 2 in the morning. She's like, I'm done. <laughs> I'm like, really? She's like, yeah, well, well, I was doing other stuff too. Yeah, yeah. I take breaks in between. I pace myself. These tickets can melt your brain if you look at them for too long. Yep. It's because there was a sale. Yeah. And then when There's you get it, more after a sale. Yeah, you get a lot of people like, I can't find my download. <laughs> Where's my download? It does, the link doesn't work. Like, you didn't even click it. Forced enemy drops. Item drop. with more control over probability rates. Here we go, it's simple. It's a very simple note tag. All of that was to look for this little thingy, by the way. Item, drop, you type in the name, and then you type in the percentage you want. So at the bottom, we can, we can do item, drop, loot box. How did I spell it? You probably need to spell it exactly. Loot, space, box, capital letters. So loot, space, capital B, and then the percentage. Let's just say 1%. So there you go. Now you can keep these items on, um, you know, just like that, and include an additional one out of 100 enemies. You're going to get the loot box item drop. And when the player uses the loot box item drop, it calls the common event that we created that will check all the conditions we want. In your case, you're looking for character class. And this is the common event that I call whenever I open a chest. So I'm making it so that every enemy has a 1% chance to give you what the random chest would give you. Because why not? It's a good addition. Good question. Thank you, Waffles. Appreciate that. You already used that. Well, that's good. It's okay. I'm just kind of talking anyway. Any more questions? How you doing, Vaseline? Your bro. I see you there, Tony Dev. Hey, hey, hey. What's up, Zeriab? KB Kingdom. I see you there. How's it going? All right. What was I doing? I was going to play test the... What's up, Nicola? Hi, 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 hi. Hi, 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 hi. I'm going to play test Black Mage because I don't know if it's going uh... to... Oh, no, the Steam Overlay thing is doing this for an MZ now again. It used to do that all the time on MV. I found it quite annoying. Let's make a new account. We'll call it BLM Age. The Black Mage. Password 12345. Unbreakable. Unbreakable. Unhackable password 12345. Oh yeah, we made a stretch sprite last stream. His head still looks stretched. I didn't I didn't shrink his head down enough. But his body got stretched like decently. Isn't that kind of cool? It's definitely not right. It's not perfect. 
I was gonna put Valheim music in the background, but there's still a bug where um, <clears throat> it plays perpetual snoring. And so no matter where I go, I hear <sighs> and I'm like, wow, this audio bug has been around since we started like yeah. a week ago there's or perma so. Snoring. Perma snoring. I'm like, I don't know if I want that. I don't want to put that in the game. <laughs> I need to do some balancing and stuff. Character saving. Five dollars super chat from Waffles. Thank you, Big Daddy Waffles. Appreciate that. Thank you for the tutorial, Your Majesty. <laughs> I shall sing you a song of our people. Throw a coin for your drifty, oh valley of YouTube. Thank you. Appreciate that. New dungeon. Let's run around and generate some dungeons. That's the loot right there. You've obtained iron ore. How about that? How about it? Very plain dungeon. But my mapping skills are what they are, and that's all they are. They're mapping the Sailor Man. Stone this succubus. Bonus damage. She's weak to stone. She's whipping me with a sword. Bam! Yeah. I think he's strong to stone. Yeah, he resist it. Hit me with a stronger stone magic. Quake. I'll just attack. So much pink. This look like a T map, just pink. Yeah, it's quite a lot. It's just like really saturated. So this black mage is weak against the the worm here. It, let's do the engrossing flame though. There we go. That's the stacking DOT. Tease map where the bad stuff is in pink. <laughs> Found the exit, but I have to find the switch. It's a long straight hallway. Maybe I shorten this map. There's the switch. Bronze ore. More treasure. Mithril ore. You can also make more um, probability, a higher probability that those items drops by uh, including multiple of the same waffles. Let's exit the dungeon. Save our character data. Like obviously I made ore drop more than uh, other items because I want to make these like the base, like the building blocks of making your weapons and armors and stuff. So we're going to have crafting. Maybe I'll start working on that. Oh, come on. Really? Is it going to give me this one again? It's got five dungeons. We have five dungeons. I should make the uh, dungeons smaller, too. Phoenix down. I don't know how useful that's going to be with only one party member. I think I, I plan on giving the ability to hire mercenaries at some point.
Oh, I missed. So the DOT won't finish him off. It'll just take him to one, though. Because otherwise it would have right there. Instead, it just did the last two HP he had. Well, two of the three he had. That's interesting. I think we designed that code for Cory. Saving my character. Come on, give me a new one. There we go. Much better. Purple Crystal Cave. Hire your offline friends. They cannot die in their game, but are able to gain, let's say, a tenth, one tenth experience. Yeah, that'd be cool. Like, you can hire other players' characters. Oh, that's a great idea, Sir Legna. Because their character data is saved. Like, I have all their stats on an, an SQL. So I can generate an NPC party member and just assign the NPC all the stats of another character in the game, another player. But I don't know, how do you balance that? Because you can hire like a super high level or if you're high level you might get a low level. Maybe you, you take into consideration level. And then you have to also track all of their gear as well and lock it. I don't know, that sounds like a challenge, but it's an interesting idea. Use your actor generator plugin. Gosh, the Black Mage's melee is garbage, but I mean, that's kind of by design. Ooh, I learned a spell. What did I learn? I can't remember. Wind, I think. Poison? So this is essentially a dungeon crawler. The battle system is a dungeon crawler battle system. Well, because I have six, I have eight classes that are basically done. It's going to be hard to balance all of them evenly. $5 super chat from Brian Perez. Thank you so much, Brian Perez. I appreciate the five bucks. He says, I have a request for a tutorial. Vigia Stella crafting system. I can't get it working. Hey, I was going to probably do that soon anyway. So why don't I just... Um, character data saved. Why don't I just close this play test and try to add it right now. Alright, so I have the crafting system in. Let's see, where is it at? We have the core engine. And then we have... Item crafting system. So let's look at the help file real quick. Adds an item crafting scene to the game. Item crafting scene can be accessible from the main menu. I already have it on there, but it's just kind of grayed out. Crafting ingredients can consist of items, weapons, armors, and gold. Specific items can require switches to be turned on. Another probably JS stuff. Custom item crafting effects can occur for those who understand JS and implement it. You can also mask unnamed items. Okay. Required plugins, items, equip core. Okay. So make sure you have the core engine and the items equip core since this requires the core engine. And then also this plugin. So three plugins a zero, a one, and a two. General notes These note tags are used to mark the item as a craftable item or as items that can only be crafted through a custom crafting list. So let's go ahead and add the crafting ingredients to an item that we want to craft. Let's start with this. Come on, come on now. There you go. Use for items, weapons, and armors, no tags. So we'll just go to a weapon and start with weapons. Or no, we'll start with armors. And if you add this code, 
it will turn it into a craftable. Using the listed ingredients. Okay. If the category name variant is used, it will draw from all items, weapons, and armors that have matching category note tag data. Insert and delete any number of copies of the ingredients as needed. Replace the ID with the ID of the actual item, weapon, or armor. Replace the name with the name of it. Replace X with the number of ingredients you want to use. Okay, cool. That's a good start, right? We've copied that. Let's go to some weapons. So once we've got our plugins in, right? We, Brian, we've got our, our core, our items tier one and our crafting tier two. We're gonna go to the item that we want to make. Let's say bronze sword. <clears throat> now you're gonna see a bunch of code in here. This was uh, brought in from another project, an MV project. So some of this stuff is no longer used. So you can see we have synthesis ingredients, blah, 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 blah. I don't need that anymore because that's from MV. It still becomes ignored, so I'm leaving it in here. But at the bottom, I'm going to put in crafting ingredients. So now, what do we want to make this require? Well, in my other pass-through, I, re I required that this is two bronze ingots to make. So we can probably do the same thing. Item bronze ingot I think I made it I named it plural so I have to do the same thing item bronze ingots 2 I'm not going to use an item ID so I'll remove that weapon ID weapon ID. I'm not going to make it require any of that and I'm not going to put it in a category yet I'm just going to make it very simple first crafting ingredients an item named specifically bronze ingots and I want to make it require two of those apply that let's make sure that an item named bronze ingots exists with a control F bronze ingots it does so it know it should know in fact let's make the same thing in here let's paste this and we'll delete this the code that we're not going to use we're going to let the bronze ingot be craftable as well. And we're going to require that this is bronze ore. We'll make it cost one bronze ore. So even if we get a bronze ore, we can craft the ore into an ingot and the ingot into... Well, once you get two ingots, you can craft that into a sword. Let's make sure that this works. I'm going to leave this in here in case I'm still giving a tutorial on MV. I can show that this is the way to do it in MV. This is the way to do it in MZ. So let's test that with just bronze sword, bronze ingots. Let's make sure that it actually works. Let's connect using our a character we just made. Uh, login. Oh no, what did I name myself? BL Mage. The unbreakable one to do for five. Okay. Our character is still here. We just hit level three and got poison. Right. Okay. And we actually have some bronze ore here that we found. So if we go to crafting, we notice it's not grayed out now because we actually can craft something. Here we go. And with one of these used to craft bronze weapons, armors, and accessories. So let's craft this. Bing. We got bronze ingot. And we can decide if we want to do multiple as well. That's cool, I like that. Let's do all five that we have. So now we have one plus five. We have six bronze ingots. We don't have the recipe. Oh yeah, okay. We, we just have all the recipes, I guess, from the beginning. And if you want to make it so that you don't, maybe there's a plugin parameter. Or maybe I've already added them in the plugin parameter. I want to check in the crafting plugin parameters because I've gone into a lot of the plugins and changed the parameters around. 
So now we're able to make a bronze sword. In fact, we can make three of them. Let's just make one of them. Bang. Now, the Black Mage can't use the bronze sword, but that's not the point of this tutorial. We actually did make that sword. There it is. Bronze sword. It has a set effect as well. Bang! So, like... I very quickly got it working, Brian. Let's check the plugin parameters, because maybe there's something that you just forgot to set up in the plugin parameters. Item crafting system. All right, starting off the general settings. Assist button. I think you just leave this craft. You could probably change it. Crafted icon. This is the number. You can also right click and show the icon index to pick one if you want to do it that way and it'll just add the number for what you click. So you don't actually have to go out of here. You just right click in here. Select the number of the item you want. Ingredient bridge. It can be whatever you want. Switches. This is a... This is a... Um, a control that makes it so that you have to have a switch on in order to craft. Crafting items and uh, crafting scene turns this switch on. Switch reverts to off whenever the crafting scene opens. Hold on. Crafting items and crafting scene turns this switch on. Switch reverts to off whenever the crafting scene opens. Okay, it just gives you some switch control for eventing. Like maybe you want to require that you're at a forge to do like this smithing and stuff, you know? Category, category item, okay. Pick, category name quantity that many needed this is like the layout this is this is the layout of how it looks the color of it the text and then any extra JS effects you want to happen the mask setting I turned this off otherwise it will just show a bunch of question marks it'll show you you can craft something with one bronze ingot but you don't know what it is or um, something like that. I just turn it off. I don't like to make my character waste materials and not know what they're crafting and whatnot. I made my players. Command name, this is what it looks like in the menu. Turn it on uh, here if you can't see it and you want it, you want it to show like at all times. You can set that to true. And if you show it and, and enable is false, then it'll be grayed out until you do a plugin command to enable it in the main menu. Animation settings for that, show animations. You can turn that off so that crafting is faster. The default animations are set in here. I wonder if you just have a bunch, if it'll play all of them. I think it goes through the list and plays these. Show windows? show windows during an item crafting animation oh if you hide the windows then it like you know obviously it just fades out the windows shows the animation and fades back in that's a nice function i like that i'm glad they included that this is a really good crafting plugin it does a lot of uh basic item manipulation for you so you don't have to invent a bunch of stuff and then you can scale the actual image that is being drawn like the little ingots, you notice how they were pretty big on the screen, even though it was just a tiny 32 by 32. So it's multiplying it by this amount. Let's make it 12.0. Let's make it bigger. Bigger items. Fade speed. How fast do you want the item to fade? I'm not sure if faster is higher or lower. Let's change it to three. I don't know, just to customize it, I suppose, some more. Crafting sound sound setting so you can decide what sound it, it plays when you do the crafting Background settings you can decide what it looks like right here 
I like this whole treasure background. The gold background is pretty neat. And then if you want to have a, a pattern around it as well. You can add your own, obviously. Just put them in the IMG titles and titles too. And then you can make your own custom look. And then the opacity of the window, you can make it more see-through or less see-through. Windows settings. Requirement font size. I guess this will just change the text uh, size of, of the text inside the menu. Background types. I don't even know what this is. Select the background type. Oh, yeah. Okay. You can change the background uh, for all of the windows. You can make them w window, see-through, transparent, or like dim. So you can have like one that's dimmed out, one that's transparent, one that has the box. You can. I'm just leaving them all to window. And basically that's it. The rest of it is reading the help file and putting the in crafting ingredients uh, where they're supposed to be. I'm glad they gave a bunch of examples too to look at. You can have it require more than one item. I mean, it, it just immediately worked for me. You saw that I put it in. So Brian Perez, if you have any more questions specifically, let me know. I got it. Thank you. Awesome. Good job. Good job. You did it. But since we started down this line, I think we should go ahead and implement the whole thing. This would take a while, but that's okay. I have a little bit of time today to do that. So, yeah, I'm going to do that. Let's start with just the ingots to the ores. I'm going to change some stuff up too from the MV version of how I did this system to the MZ version. Bronze will take one, iron will take two, and then instead of going up so fast, I'm going to make it not require so many, because towards the end, I make it start requiring a lot. This is this is not relevant to your system, but if you have any special questions about plugins or whatever, let me know. Otherwise, I'm just going to kind of work on my project a little bit. Drift, are you going to lol so hard when you see Valheim, what I've done? Uh oh. Oh no, this is probably bad. Did you put a box around me? Did you find my character and like block me I in or something? I did. <laughs> Waffles! Why you gotta troll me, man? <laughs> What I happened? see what he's doing. What is he doing? Oh my god. <laughs> that is funny. <laughs> I don't know if I should say anything right here. Nah, you should nah, say I'll anything. just let it happen. Let it be discovered. Just naturally. let it be naturally <laughs> occurring. <laughs>
That's actually hilarious. It is. <laughs> you guys should come join us on Valheim. It's a ton of fun. Oh my gosh. Ridiculous. Shadow Knight asks question, is there a way to make an arrow when, where whenever a one is put, it displays a specific image? And Oh, an array. Is there any way to make an array where whenever a one is put, it displays a, a specific image? Shadow Knight, what are you talking about? Make an array where whenever a one is put, it displays a specific image. I have no idea what you're even saying. <laughs> Veroclaw, I can join if you send me an invite. Didn't I send you an invite? I think I did. I sent you an invite. If I if if you want to join and you haven't got an invite, just just let me know. I when I started the server this morning, I, I sent out the invites. Let me let me do that again. Did did my like Steam restart or something cause an issue? Barrowclaw, Valheim. Invite to watch. Wait, the server is definitely running, right? Yeah. I must have already invited you to the lobby because it's not letting me invite you to the lobby anymore. Try, try and find it. Try and find it on the list of servers, Barrow. Yeah, that's what. If it's got to be restarted, we probably have to do it after the stream. Sometimes it has to be restarted because it's it's early a access. It, it gets kind of buggy. Okay, I can restart it real quick. Yeah, it's definitely not letting me yeah. invite. Maybe you gotta restart it. Maybe I I bring Valheim up, and then I can go like this and invite you. Hmm. I wonder if it's because. Like I have, I started MZ after Valheim. I don't know. That's very strange. Waffles, we send out invites as soon as we start the server. Yeah. So Waffles just joined quick. But sometimes it bugs. And it doesn't let anybody join after that. I have a... I'm going to test something. I'm going to save and I'm going to close MZ, right? I'm just going to close MZ. And then Steam's going to think that I'm playing Valheim, right? Probably. Because I got Valheim up. Me do 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 do. Here I am, Steam, playing Valheim. <laughs> Invite to watch me play MZ, but MZ is not running. <laughs> I'm going to close my friends list and then start it again. This seems more like a Steam bug. Look at this. It says I'm playing MZ. Yeah, MZ maybe, running. Maybe it's a Steam bug. It says MZ's running. It's not running though. Oh, frickin' frickin'. It is <laughs> running. I had a, a, a test play still running. Yeah, I know Waffles, but that the join game option wouldn't come up if we didn't send an hey, invite. Hey, there it is. That was the problem. Wow. That's crazy. Cool. All right, whatever. Invite to lobby. You're already... Waffles is playing, right? Yeah. Okay. So that's easy fix, actually. Try again, Vero. Try again, Vero. You need to come with me to the swamp to the All swamp right. to try and find turnips. So you want to come to the swamp with me? All right. I need turnips. I sent the invite. It should. I mean, I restarted M MZ, so I hopefully it doesn't mess up the invites. <laughs> Zarya. Drifty is now playing Valheim. No, he I'm isn't. I'm not playing it. Shut up, Zarya. <laughs> I'm hosting a server. I can't close it. Otherwise, everyone gets kicked off. That's how it works. Hey, it worked. Vero's here. 
It's cool. That was a quick, easy fix. Not a big Pharaoh, deal. Pharaoh, go to the swamp with me. You're crazy. I know exactly where I was at. It's going to be great. Don't worry about it. It'll be wonderful. It's going to be great. <laughs> what could maybe, possibly go wrong? Maybe we should wait till tomorrow, though. Maybe. Just maybe go we'll... in the night. Wet and uh, cold. Yeah, let's not go. Triple at night. stamina penalty. We'll go. We'll go. We'll go at daybreak. How's that? <laughs> You see what Waffles is doing? <laughs> Isn't it epic? <laughs> epic. Crafting Coriel or make that take four. Drifty is a player? Yeah, Drifty's a player. I'm I have a player in there. But I'm AFKing while I'm just running the server. Yeah. Ages site. Maybe four. Doing some database updates to my game real quick. I wonder if it'll show these recipes. If you have the stuff or not. <laughs> I'm gonna start it and look. Time to hunt the drifty. We turned PvP off. Yeah. <laughs> but you can still kill people. There are clever ways to kill people. You can. If you like build a box and put a fireplace in the box with them, they'll die. You can just put a fire under them and they'll burn to death. Yeah. Or uh, you can, yeah, you can smoke them out because it, it it takes into consideration. But that would be really smoking. cheesy because you that would be skills. lame because you do lose skills even yeah. if a player kills you. You'd probably get Vino, from... you would love it, dude. You'd probably I don't... get banned from the server if you start killing other Here's members. Here's the thing. I don't typically play games like this. I mean, I have in the past, but it's like not something I'm really into usually. It's more of like a play for an hour and never touch it again type of thing. But this is something special about Valheim. I'm telling yeah. you. There's something unique. Spe they, they, like, they did it right. There's a level of polish that will just amaze you. Like, you go when you first sail and you get on the boat and you realize how... The water moves up and down, and how there's a weather system, Pretty and like, water. and all of the the polish they put into it. You're like, wow, this was five people who made this, oh, yeah. and it's like the whole game is like one gigabyte in size. It's insane. Like, it's, it's they just have like, they have my respect. This dev team. Actually, Sir Legna, all we have to do is restart the server and change the password to ban somebody. <laughs> Actually, I think that's the only way you can ban somebody currently. You can't just like click on their name and ban them. I, I think you can if we know the right way to do it. If you hit F2, you can see everybody's that's connected. And yeah. as the admin, you might have extra privileges if you know what to type. Right. Yeah, so I think you can. And if I had to, I would research it. But the it. easy way to do it is just restart the server and change the password. Oh, yeah. I'm, I'm pretty sure, Vino, they'll up the 10-person limit. Oh, it's, yeah. It, it's like... I'm thinking it'll go up to 32 by the time, like, oh. it's released. 32 we've never people. We've had, like, you know, we've had well over 10 people playing, but never at the same time. So it's we've, never felt restrictive yet. Right. We've had about probably 15, 16, 17 different people mm -hmm. come and go. But uh, we've only had up to nine at one point. And usually we only have six people. Yeah. But as it gets more known and more popular, I, I hope they up that limit as well. Because I would like to play with like, you know, 20, 30 people. We have some regulars too. Waffles, Tron, uh, Vero. They come a lot. Which is great. Sweet was a regular, but he had a baby. I hope it's doing. he's doing good. Yeah, I hope Sweet's doing well. He's not going to come back for a year now. <laughs> we told him, see you in a year. <laughs> The only thing I look frowned upon in Valheim are the system requirements. They don't justify what we see in the game. Well, uh, you gotta see the game. But I guess that's what you get with Unity. 
I don't know, man. This game is pretty incredible. I think it's not that badly optimized. I imagine, yeah. I, I will say that running a server for like eight hours, you're going to see some FPS dip. Well, and it's not necessarily just because of your system It's not the system. It's, it's, it's the code. Buggy. Yeah. It's the code on that. It's early access, so they still have to optimize it a little more. <laughs> you need the whole Discord able to load it. I don't think that's going to be a good idea. It's too much to manage. I still like it being kind of like not MMO-ish, just like mo just multiplayer. Ten people, it, like if you have ten people in a chat room, all in the voice comms, and you're doing something, That's you could s you can still focus on like everyone can do one thing. You s I've played Eve online where you have like 40, 50 people in one chat room, and like it's either everyone is forced to be quiet and it gets boring, or you know you have like one fleet commander making all the calls. And everybody, dude, like one guy scouting who's talking. Or it's just a mess and you can't understand what anyone's saying because it's just too much noise. One person doesn't know how to turn their push to talk on. And you got some cat in the background. I don't know. I think they make a 10-person limit, too, because there's, um, there's only so many resources you can pack in without just having the whole world crawling with mobs. Because a, uh, a lot of the resources come from mobs. And so they, it may not be a networking limit that made the 10 person cap. It may be just what makes the game pleasant. Uh. If you have too many people, there just may be too many mobs. And if you want to go off and do something on your own, it would be impossible. If you don't have more mobs, it's impossible to get enough resources. So you got to find that balance. Oh my god, guys, my extended warranty is, ex is extended. What's wrong? <laughs> Hello? <laughs> it's a real person. <laughs> I can't believe it. It's the best of its miracle. We should put this on the calendar. Drifty got a call from a real person, not a robot. Balheim asks more than Doom 2016. Yeah, but you got to see the game. I don't know what Doom 2016 has in it, but Valheim is just, like, visually spectacular. Especially the ocean, but, like, everything. Everything just looks so good, and there's so much going on at the screen at, screen at any given time, and that's just, like, what you can see. I gotta write this down before I forget. Yeah, it was a real phone call. Can you guys believe it? That wow, doesn't happen. I was not expecting a real phone call. <laughs> it was my uh, eye doctor's office. <laughs> Are you sure you didn't stage that? <laughs> Bino says. No. <laughs> I don't. I don't want to go, but I have to do my follow-up uh, six-month <laughs> follow-up. So they're gonna just run me through the gamut of all the tests again, Gosh. make sure everything looks good. I hate going there too because it they sucks. take they take like literally all four day. hours, and it's like really if you. What they have to do would take like 10, 15 minutes. Oh, yeah. 20 minutes, maybe, if maybe the doctor an hour was. At the at top. I mean, like, if, I, if that's they did the, everything. No, I'm just saying, like, if they were just like, if you were just to go in and get what you needed to be done and you were the only person there, they could do the whole process in like 15, 20 minutes. Mm -hmm. But it takes four hours. Yeah. Anyway. But it didn't in, in New York City. They were a lot faster about it there. That's true. Oh, but see, this is the time and date. Yay. Yep. Well, at least it's the afternoon. Yep. They said morning or afternoon. I said afternoon. <laughs> afternoon, please. We're not alive in the morning. <laughs> Sorry about that. Everybody. Drifty's real name revealed. I think mostly everybody knows his everybody name. Everybody knows Michael. my first name. Yeah. <laughs> Hello? Oh, she's like. Because <laughs> I'm like, huh? <laughs> you, you know why I do that? It's because the bots. <laughs> The bots, they don't listen for a word. They listen for any sound. And yeah. if you go over a decibel, they're like, This is Tom coming for the audience. And th this is about your extended car warranty. This is a like, yeah. That's what normally happens. And that's what I was expecting to happen. So, anyway. The bots. I want to make some crafting recipes for the um, potions and ethers and elixir elixirs. Yeah, me and Vero are gonna go swamp and find turnips. Turnips? Yeah, turnips. They grow in the swamps. Turned down for what? <laughs> Eating my good food. 
Let's go swamping. I'm out of here. It's raining. It's perfect. Oh yeah, there you go. All you have to do is add the note tag and it will show up. So there it is. All these crafting items. <laughs> two dollars super chat from Vino. Thank you, Vino, for the two bucks. Drifty's day was ruined since the warranty wasn't extended today. <laughs> oh man. You know what I noticed is uh, my character didn't save because I didn't leave and come back into the tavern. So I could probably make an item in the tavern that would call the script save game function. So if you don't want to leave the tavern but you need to save the game, you could do that. All right, so I've made the ingots. I was actually able to make an iron ingot that would probably let me have some iron gear if I were to add that recipe. So now I need to add the crafting recipes to the armors and weapons. Let's do that. Bronze helmet. Crafting ingredient, bronze ore. Nope, bronze ingot. Bronze ingots oh, too. Oh, I found one. I found turnips. Heck yeah. What I'll do is I'll copy this specifically. They're like a sickly yellow. They're hard to see. And do this for all the bronze bodies and stuff. Over there. I think I'll go this way. Oh my gosh. I think all we need is one. I can make more from that. We need to make poison resistance if we're going to fight the third boss. But turnips apparently are really good food, so, so I'm trying to get some. Okay. I've never seen them. I grabbed one. I got one. Can you plant them? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Like that. All I've been able to grow is they're carrots. Hard, they're hard to see because they're like a gross yellow that blends in with the back background. All right. I think I'm okay with one. I can make one many. Vero, I got one. If you want to come back out. Until I make like the leather crafting clothing, clothing system and all the materials that go with it, I'm going to have uh, ores and ingots also craft like the clothing, weapon, armor stuff things. I think just probably to balance it out, it'll be weird like, you know, because you'd use metal bars to make robes. That's weird, right? I get it. I understand that. But just for the game balance, I'm going to make that be a thing for now all right and then we'll go to the weapons and do the same thing right there said you were right he needed those stairs i did a boo-boo oh i already know what that means oh no 
That's going to be a very glittery pond. Waffles, now you have to build Tron a new house. Oh, dude. <laughs> Trolling and destroying somebody's entire house are two different things. I know. <laughs> It was it was held up by a toothpick. It was. It was held up by stairs only. It was it was being held up by a toothpick. <laughs> oh man. His faith and a toothpick. Well, his faith has failed him. I thought you knew that. We weren't joking. He needed he <laughs> He needed those stairs to hold his house up. For old. those of you who don't know, the real Tron plays Valheim with us and he had his house. I say in past tense, it's pretty sad. Yeah, his house is gone. Now. Built and, and then and then he had stairs down to the dirt and then he like dug a giant hole and built a pool under his house. It was floating. And his house was actually floating off of the ground. Like four foot off the ground. But it was still touching the ground on like a staircase. Apparently Waffles destroyed the staircase and I guess the whole house came um, down. Not the whole house. He's got a little bit, a little bit of house Oof. left. Oh man, it's repairable. You just gotta put the staircase back, Waffles. You could do it. Only half of it came <laughs> down, so you could salvage this. I, w I would repair his house and maybe build it back up if you can. <laughs> He still didn't have a roof on it, so that was gonna happen even if Waffles didn't do that eventually. <laughs> Like, that was going to happen anyway. In fact, if, if we didn't blow the cover, Waffles could have just walked away and be like, well, you should have repaired your well, house and built a roof. I don't know. The, the improvements Waffles made, I think, might get Pretty away. obvious, right? <laughs> Pretty obvious. Encasing somebody's house in a whole stone, <laughs> like, capsule. It's pretty <laughs> obvious that somebody was there. Shit, you almost built him a bigger house out of stone. I know. Maybe you can have a stone castle instead. Why are you giving him all that stone? You should be making yourself a stone castle somewhere and build yourself a portal to it. <laughs> and, your, and your village house, make a portal. Shit, it looks like a badass stone castle house now. It does. Just be like, I upgraded your house. There you go. You're welcome. <laughs> Knock down everything wooden and, and just let him have a stone castle. <laughs> Dang, Waffles. That looks ridiculous, man. How did you get all that stone anyways? My goodness. That's a lot of stone. So I found turnips. I need to grow them somewhere now. Yeah, plant them. And they will grow. There we go. We did all the bronze tier. Now there's only 11 more tiers to do. Actually, there are 13 tiers. Twelve more tiers to do. Let's go back to the top. This path is messed up. Go to iron. Go in here. Change this to iron ingots. And get all the iron stuff. Brian Perez just kind of kicked me in the butt to do this. He's like, yo, I can't get it to work. And then I was like, well, let's let's get it to work together. And then since I got it working, I'm like, might as well just add all the recipes in. Yeah, fix the path. <laughs> Sir Legna, you got this. Thank you, Sir Legna. Appreciate that. Oh, this is gonna take a while. Let's see how long baby lets me do this. I like databasing though, to be honest with you. As monotonous as this may be for a lot of people, I strangely enjoy it. No! Why? Why does it have to be so drastic? Hey, the road actually looks better than it did before Waffles started doing this. Look at this. Good. Doesn't that look nice? Yeah, it does. Upgrade it. 
I just hope a cart will get through there. No, it will. The okay. cart got through the old one. This is even nicer. Okay. If you say so. Look at that. It's practically a boulevard. It's like a highway. A blivered. You could get two carts through there. No, you can't. <laughs> You're being slilly. <laughs> Check it out, Waffles. Look at this new road. He's so smooth like a baby's butt. <laughs> I have a ton of editing to do. We have like hours of footage for mm -hmm. Valheim. Need to edit them down into just the best, funniest moments. Last night was easy because it was just very quick. Yeah, you died hilariously. It was hilarious after the fact, but <laughs> yeah, during it was just rage-inducing. <laughs> the sad thing is, is usually when we go out on these crazy expeditions, all of us die a couple times, but last night it was only Drifty, and that makes it even worse. I shouldn't have died. <laughs> you were safe. I was like the first or second one there, and I was like eating an apple. I'm like, yeah, I'm just waiting for everybody. You guys are slow. <laughs> and I'm like, huh, they pushed me out. <laughs> Oh no, what's happening? What? I was trapped. I literally got trapped. <laughs> Lost my cool. There's a lot of obscenities. And I try not to cuss, but I just cuss all the time still. It's a bad habit. I just grew up cussing it's, a lot. It's a hard habit to break. It is. I used to swear like a sailor and it took a long time to stop. Yeah, we're done with iron. Hey, that was fast. Let's go back to weapons and <clears throat> start the mithril. Yeah, Waffles, I'd say you made an improvement on Tron's house. Pretty sick. You should get shorts. What do you mean get shorts? You have to make, you have to do, if you want to do shorts, like actual shorts in the algorithm, you have to do it, shoot it in vertical format. You know, like where it looks like it was recorded on a phone. Yeah. So, I mean, none of the content I make really is is couldn't, done on the phone. Couldn't you, like, trim it to vertical format and just, like, if, if all the stuff that is necessary to see happened within that viewpoint, couldn't I you mean, on OBS, like, yeah, make it vertical format? Yeah, but that's a lot of work. Yeah. It's stupid. I know, that's a weird requirement. It's just, it's supposed to be convenient, so you just record it with your phone and you can upload it. But, like, I've... Watched videos and it actually shows that highly edited shorts are just way better. Mm -hmm. 
I'm still using hashtag short, hashtag shorts, and hashtag Valheim, hashtag Val. I'll do that to see if it triggers anything in the algorithm. But because my channel is not a Valheim channel, it's a RPG Maker channel, It's those videos are not going to do very well. But I'm okay with that. The main thing I really want to do with those Valheim videos is to encourage people around me who watch my stuff to play with me. <laughs> Come play the games I want to play, and that would be great. <laughs> but there's always a chance, though, that the algorithm picks up. Since it is a popular game, and they have, like, they've sold millions of copies. You know, it's one of the larger games. Even though it was made by five guys. Um, like, there's a chance that the algorithm picks it up, and it really gets shared. So, yeah. so I, I'm, also bank I'm also hoping... I'm not banking on it, but I'm hoping that one of them picks up and gets like a million views. Because that would just be a few extra thousand dollars. <laughs> <laughs> Let's be real. You could literally make a one minute video and make like three grand off of it. If it gets picked up right. I like this track. It's very good. I like the MZ soundtrack, really. Yeah, it's really good. I agree. Done with Mithril. <clears throat> we'll go back to the top of weapons and start Obsidian. It's gotta be so drastic. Yeah, KB, uh, at this point, the 
new operating Mac operating system doesn't play nice with MV. Yeah, with MV you can't deploy to Big Sur. It just still messes up. Can't play test or play the game uh, on the new uh, Mac processing chip and the Big Sur operating system. MZ's got that fixed. The last patch fixed it for MZ. So MZ works fine for all future Mac stuff, uh, at least with Big Sur and the new newest chip. But MV, unfortunately, kind of gets left... That's what the last 1.3 fix was. Mm -hmm. It yeah. was a fix for Mac, <clears throat> uh, Mac OS yep. for the new stuff. And a couple other little things. But that was the biggest part of the fix. KV says, I'm still running into issues with deploying MZ games on Mac OS. Have you updated the project? You have to update the engine and the project library files. So the, the game and your engine. But if you are still getting issues and you've updated to the current versions, you should probably submit a support ticket to the support team. So uh, you'll, they'll walk you through the gamut of like what's happening and possible solutions and try to figure out your system specs and like try to figure out what is the specific issue. Yeah, and if, you know, you get a... A good idea of what your specific issues are shoot them to me It'd be good information if you figure have. out yeah. yeah if you come to a, if you find solutions for it you can always let t know because she talks to a lot of people with those issues so sir legna um mv's source code is actually open it's open source but i think it's it's cute qt quicktime uh -huh. so like you have to have quicktime and it's incredibly expensive to work on it like incredibly expensive, so like a year's over a grand. I looked at it for the year else. license. Yeah, <clears throat> that's it's expensive. very expensive. What the hell? Why is QuickTime charging so much? I don't know. It's a good program, I guess. It's what softwares are built with. Like it's RPG like... Maker is a game making software. QuickTime is a software making software. Right. It's a it's an engine for making applications. Yeah. Damn, that's where the money's at. Mm-hmm. Why are we making games? We should be making software making applications. Yeah. <laughs> I know and I looked around for a while for like alternatives to QuickTime and there really there really isn't a lot of good options out there that I could find at least. I know why. Because making games is fun. Yeah. Making software not engines as fun. probably not as fun. Yeah, that's more of an industry thing, and in industry tends to pay more for their software easily, quickly, without batting an eye. So people can charge more for it too. Yeah, I'm talking about QuickTime. Quick QuickTime, and I know there is a free version of QuickTime, but like when I looked at it, it's so watered down, and I don't know how you could even possibly use it. In fact, I don't even know how you could implement it. It's extremely difficult to even get it started. Hey, Azrael, how you doing? Chimichangas, oh my god. Chimichangas. I've never had a real chimichanga. Like, no? the closest thing I've had to one was those, like, Taco Bell chimichangas they did once, a long time oh. ago. Those were good, but I doubt they were, like, real chimichangas. Are you sure it wasn't a chalupa? Yes, I'm sure it wasn't a chalupa. It was a, like, it looked like a gear, um, but it was like a, like a stick but the, the design was like a gear and it was yummy. <laughs> it was a sugary snack. I don't know how to describe it. You're talking about a churro. Oh, a churro. Okay. What yeah. the hell's a chimichanga then? It's got meat. Oh, okay. Never mind. Yeah. It's, it's a savory churro. dish. Spicy savory dish. Wow. Churro is like a cinnamon. Waffles. Were you out there with the cart yesterday just getting stoned yeah, to do this? Because that's, that's dedication. That's He's like, out there oh, getting stoned. Thing. Oh, he was out. He was out with the cart for a while yesterday, mm. and now he's built like this insane. A tower. Yeah. Okay. I'm thinking he was out there just getting stone. He's probably just mining into a mountain. Yeah. <laughs> That's dedication. 
Guys, don't troll waffles. He'll get you back. <laughs> Shit, I lost my place. What was oh, I doing? Oh, QT isn't quick time. Okay, QT confused me with quick time. Whatever. It's the thing. It's the engine that makes the engines. That one. The one that RPG Maker uses. <laughs> Waffle says this was accidental. I don't know, man. I don't think that would hold up in court. This looks pretty purposeful to me. <laughs> so I've got three turnip seeds I need to figure out where I'm going to plant. Do I plant the turnips? Right here. No, there's a bug in Mac operating system, Sir Legna. Well, it's not really technically a bug per se. It's that the Mac operating system, Apple is like huge jerks when it comes to software and they're like we're gonna make a software that's not compatible with like anything nothing and like if you want to use an Apple the company that makes the app that you like has to change their software to work with Apple all oh, the cultivators gone I hate how they set precedents like that it's so annoying it's very annoying so it's like either either every company ever out there who's made software has to change their software to fit with Apple's or it just doesn't run. It's so stupid, like how they took the headphone jack off of phones. I'm mm -hmm. like, why? What, what? Like, it's not like it's an expensive component and it's it doesn't take up a ton of space. And people it's, love it. And people love it. Is it so that you can sell other components? Yes, it's yeah. about money. It's always about money. It's greed. It's always about money. Just remember that. When it comes to Apple, 99% oh, thank you very it's much. about money. More of it. Insatiably more of it. Waffles, I'm borrowing your uh, one of your cultivators. Your cultivator. Oh, wow. I've never touched one of these. I just got a bunch of new recipes. Everyone does need to boycott Apple. I've already boycotted Apple. I'm not buying a single Apple product. They don't get any of my money. Well, you know what? That's not true. Here's the here's the really sick, savage part of it. Google pays Apple to handle Super Chat transactions. So, every Super Chat, Apple, Apple's banking team makes a fraction of a penny or something off of handling the transaction. So, Sickening. that's that's it's so sad that even though I choose to boycott them, Five times a week, pr practically, I give them a few pennies you or something. You can't keep from giving Apple can't. money. Mm -mm. It's impossible. They make money because they have their hands everywhere. Don't boycott Super Chat. Don't boycott Super Chat. <laughs> yeah, please. I'll give them a fraction of a penny. I need my monies. <laughs> I got bills to pay. I got mouths to feed. Yeah, I was shocked, too. Because Google, because, you know, the big five, they watch out for each other. They, they all, they're all buddies. They all make money together. They all sell data back and forth. Five dollars super chat for Vino. Thank you so much, Vino. Appreciate that five bucks. They took the headphone jack off so they can bring it back in five years later as a new feature. So they save costs now, then bring in new customers later. Yeah, that sounds about right. It's like their 10 year plan to remove things that were currently working for five years, to add them as new shit in five years from now. And it was like, oh my God, they're, in, they're genius. They put a headphone jack on a phone. I've never heard of that. It's amazing. <laughs> I don't know if you can- Here's the thing though. Like they can charge whatever they want. There's a certain like number of people that will pay nine hundred dollars for a stand. They will pay a thousand dollars to Apple for like a a monitor stand. 
the Apple stand. Like they'll pay it. They'll pay a grand for it because they don't care. They have the money to do it. They flex on them noobs, and they don't care. And that's what Apple, like, banks on. They make hella bank on that. Warlock Games. The game jam still has uh, five days left. There's a huge. A there's a huge divide, and like. The classes of people. Reinvite? Why would happen? If you got disconnected, you should be able to just hop back on. Don't see join game MZ and Way, I think. I mean, that's possible. But did you give it a, a chance to like click community, click back on friends? Did you refresh for a second? I'm in the middle of Devon, my friends. I've got Devon to do. Item was glitched, so you logged. Which item? Was it a forge or like a, a kiln? Because that, that needs a server restart. It's okay. I can save this game anyway. Where was I? Hold on. I'm down to the adamantium body. That's where I'm at. I already put it in right there. Let's see. Adamantium gloves. That's where we got to be. Save the project. Close this. All right. I'll invite you again, Waffles. Invite to lobby. All right. Take that invite. You're welcome. Launch. I'm gonna watch these turnips grow to make sure no deer eat them or anything. Yeah, the moment I closed MZ, the, the Valheim server was like showing my invites again. <laughs> hey, you know what this could mean though? What's that? When it bugs out, remember like it doesn't show us invite or it doesn't go through again? It may be that a different thing's open. Maybe it means something else is open or we can open something and close it. Oh, that would be awesome. And then try to send after closing another application. So it could be like, like a, a life button. hack. Yeah. Uh-huh. That's cool. Maybe this will get, provide us a new solution to an existing pr uh, problem. Early oh, access. Speaking of that kind of thing, Early by the way, Vino, game. you know how you had issues with M MV crashing a lot? One, uh, Somebody found a solution for them, and I'm wondering if this is what was causing it for a lot of people, and if so, that would be amazing. But apparently Discord has an overlay, and when he shut off the Discord overlay, it stopped. I've never even heard of a Discord overlay. I mean, can but... you open that window? Mm -hmm. It's hot in here. It's it? very hot in here. Appreciate that five bucks, Vino. Vino says his Discord overlay is always disabled. He does not use it, and uh, that's not the issue. Okay. Well, I was kind of hoping it would be, yeah. it would be awesome to find an answer finally, but if, you know, whatever, it's not, then it was for this guy. That's the thing with this problem. Like, it's, it's so hard to hunt it down because but, it's specific to each person's computer and the programs they run and what they have on and what they don't have on and it could be different like you could have five different reasons for it to happen and all five are equally hard to find yeah uh, Vino's saying he's he does think it's he's pretty sure 99 percent sure it's a, a steam container issue hmm. <clears throat> so he does think it's a steam issue yeah 
Now it's nothing that MV. It's nothing that Dutcher can, can do to fix it. At All least, right. and at least not until somebody finds the reason for it. You can't fix something you don't know why it's going wrong. Yeah. Some people just. Uh, <laughs> some people just experience random crashes with MV, especially when they're running from Steam. But some people at the standalone have the issue too. But that's the thing; it could be different issues, but the same symptom. And until you find the cause, there's no way to fix it. And if you don't have that person's specific computer and can recreate the problem, you can't find the cause. So it's it's a really really elusive issue. He says it's not an issue much longer. In a few months, he's hoping to be done with MV forever. Yeah. So uh, I, you had said at one point that when you switched to the standalone, it stopped. Are you still using the standalone? Is it still working? I think a lot of people are just starting with MV, though. It's a great engine to learn on, too. It was $12 in the Dejka store. It's like, mm -hmm. damn. Yeah, that's super cheap. A, yeah. Yeah, it's got to be something to do with Steam for you, Vino. If it works on the standalone, but not Steam. That's a big clue. I had no other issues on any other program, says Vino. It's all good. I just have to wrap up the last patch of my MV games, and then it's done forever. Moving on to the MZ. Yeah, the game jam's almost done, guys. I hope you're finishing up your projects. It's going to be Jigawa. We're going to have a ton of games to play. Channel's going to be very busy. Thank you, honey. Databasing like a boss. We're getting so much done. It's great. I just accidentally hit one of my turnips and killed it. I got three whole turnips and I killed one with a mace. Wow. Yep. You should probably not stand right next to him with your, with your mace out. <laughs> Dang it.
We're over halfway done with all this. That's good. All right. I'm getting there. It's a time-consuming thing. Yeah, I'm just adding crafting recipes for all the weapons and armors that I put in. Hey, Ready. What's up, Ready Player? How you doing? Drifty should include a text box to tell us what song is playing. It's just the MZ soundtrack. Soundtrack. It's all just... All the default MZ music on a playlist. Yeah, I have, Vino. It's dangerous when you forget you're streaming. Moving on to, to more fights.
<laughs> the radio station on air lights. I worked at two radio stations. Both of them, the on air was on the outside of the building. So it was to let other people know that you were on air. Not necessarily yourself. So the sales team and you know they didn't get too rowdy outside the door. I know, right? At first I was like, yeah, I probably will just do weapons or armors or maybe I'll just do up to like adamantium. But like I'm already at the point where like I think I could finish all of these weapons and armors crafting. Uh, add, blah, 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 blah. Not completely finish them, but like add them all to the crafting system. It's amazing how many note tags each of one of these has. <clears throat> A lot of the stuff is not working. I just don't want to remove it in case somehow it gets like, oh yeah, this uh, Dreams plugin has been updated and now it works with MZ. And I'm like, oh shit, I just deleted all of my note tags. I just hold out for like a chance that it'll still work in MZ at some point. And then I'm like, all the work that I put in the project for that plugin from MV will work in MZ. So I just leave it there in the hopes, <laughs> I guess. Oh, that's cool, Vino. Live, coming at you from <laughs> Driftwood Gaming. <laughs> What's that? I'm reading Vino's comment. Yeah. Yeah. Welcome to the show, Vino. So, uh, in your office today, what, what is, what's going on with you guys? <laughs> like, well, my office is a truck. <laughs> Every radio station, both of the radio stations, I had to say the number one hit music station. Of course, because they were both number one. Number one. <laughs> number one. The Valley's Q96, the number one hit music station. Coming up next is 50 Cent. <laughs> <laughs> Five dollars super chat from Waffles. Thank you so much, Waffles. Appreciate that, man. He goes tutorial on Vision Stella Quest system now. Maybe tomorrow. Maybe tomorrow, man. Thank you for the five bucks. It's like we've already been streaming for two hours, and I'm like, I'm grinding right now to get this last bit updated and finished. I can't start. That's a that's also like a not a small quick one either. That's gonna be a a rather extensive. Watch me whip. Watch me nay nay. Tutorial. How can you tell when your plants are all finished? They won't say healthy. They'll just say E2 pick. Ah. It takes two days, so you probably shouldn't be sitting there watching I'm them grow. watch them grow. Yeesh. I, I only have six turnip seeds. I had, I don't know, three, three and, I, and I killed one with a mace. So I'm going to make sure no deer eat it. When, I put a double-pointed fence fortification around the entire thing. Here's the thing. Once you, like, grow them... You have to put them back in the ground and they become seeds. So you find you find three seeds, you plant those three seeds, and then those come up and you put those back into the ground mm -hmm. and then they turn into nine seeds. Yeah. And then you plant those nine seeds and they come up as pl as turnips, but you plant those nine down and they come back as 27 mm -hmm. seeds. That's what I'm going to do. And you do that till you get like 100 seeds and then yeah. you can keep some to eat and keep planting them I'm as gonna, seeds. I'm going to give them It out. takes a while because it's like two days. I'm going to give gifts of turnip, turnip seeds. Yeah, I want, some, I want some turned down for what seeds? Apparently they're really hard to find. I was reading the like, people are like, where are turnip seeds? I've never I've seen them. Six I've never even seen them. I found one. I was in the swamp for like 10 seconds and I found a turnip. So it was very fortunate. I want to guard this because I may never find another one in my whole life. It's going to take you a while to get seeds to give away. That's what I'm going to do though. 
I'm a farmer now. My whole two plants. I plant 130 carrots at a time. 130 yeah. to 150. Waffle says, remember, he said tomorrow, guys, I hold y'all to it or your house will be covered by stone. Oh, 50. no. You mean you're <laughs> going to build me a free stone tower? <laughs> Maybe we don't do that tutorial. You're the best around. No, 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 down. I gotta finish this. Come on, come on. I can do it. More fight. More fight. Finish this. More fight. I'm surprised Lily's still sleeping. Yeah, me too. She ate so much this morning. She did. She, she must, must be going through a girl's That's part. what I was thinking. She yeah. must be trying to get bigger. Her body's like, time to grow. Get all the calories. She normally eats pretty good, but man, this morning she just could, she was insatiable. She was. All right, sweet. More fights done. Next one. Espergeit. When doing stuff like this, it's also a good idea to periodically hit apply OK and save the game in case it crashes. You don't lose all of your work that you just did. Or Hi, Callie. You also run the risk of accidentally hitting cancel if you don't apply every now and then. <laughs> Vino watched the stream. What's up, Callie? He's like, so Waffles, I hear that I somehow pushed you off of a boat. <laughs> <laughs> as soon as Waffles fell off the boat, he's like, Vino pushed me. Vino <laughs> did it. It was Vino. <laughs> it was kind of hilarious. I'm like, how could Vino have possibly been at fault here? <laughs> it's like, he did it. I know his tricks. So many items. Oh, 
All right. Three more to go. Three more types to go. Okay. Oh, Kel says, it seems like a lot's changed since 2000 for RPG Maker. That's true. So it's a whole other ball game. No longer using Ruby. I'm using JS now. Oh no. <laughs> Waffles is getting attacked sea by serpent. Sea serpent. <laughs> kill it, Waffles! <laughs> hey, if you do kill it, it drops some really good meat. Uh huh. To make that sea serpent stew. It is delicious. No, but for real, if you're the only one on the boat, just, just sail straight. Yeah. Get wind. Make sure you have wind. You're not like paddling. Turn the boat so as soon as you're in full wind, go straight in a straight line and you'll outrun them. But if you don't do that fast enough, it only takes him like three or four bites and your boat is in the water. And then he bites you and eats you. And instead of you eating him, he eats you. Like Soviet watch. Russia. I'm watching on the map. Let's see if Waffle blinks out. Oh, see you'll him. see his body. I see, him, I see him hightailing it across the map. <clears throat> Yeah, you see his body blink out. Usually if you get to, like, right next to the shore, they kind of back off a bit. Mm -hmm. That's why you have to get harpoons. And you harpoon it, and you bring it to the shore, and, like, it can't go anywhere. And you're just holding it with the harpoon, and your teammates are just shooting at it. And it's yeah. just stuck. And then you guys go get the... And then you get sea serpent Sea steel. serpent steel. Yeah. yeah. That's how you do. That's all the weapons, huh? Sweet... Vino definitely sent them after me. <laughs> he says this is the second one. Vino definitely sent them after me. Somehow Vino has hacked our <laughs> server and is controlling the sea serpents. <laughs> this is more entertaining than watching tulips grow. Stay out on the ocean, Waffles. I don't know why you're just standing there watching your plants grow. That sounds terrible. Because a deer's gonna come in and eat them, and then I'm gonna have Not to if you fully gate it. Not the little sucky wooden one, the spikes. I if, put up a double spike wall. Uh, all you need is one closed spike wall, and they will not come in. They don't come and get my carrots. The one time I put them outside my spiked wall, they ate all hundred something of my carrots. Yeah. Except for one. They left one for some <laughs> reason. Maybe that's in the code that they won't eat the last one or something. It's funny. Vino smirked. <laughs> You'll never know if he actually did it, though. He made it. Waffles made it. Vino is 
a benevolent god. This took forever, but I'm almost there. All right, two more. Two more types. Age of Sight and Drift Tight. Almost there. Okay, and save the game just in case. I think I'm going to let you drive from now on, Drifty. All right. If you do sink our longboat, I mean, probably shouldn't randomly take the longboat out, but if you do sink our longboat, mark where it's sunk at, because supposedly all of the stuff is supposed to float to the top now. No, I don't think he's been taking the longboat. Yeah, I think they built their own. Yeah, there's a little bit. Yeah, okay. But if, if you lose a ship, mark where you lost it, because it's supposed to drop this stuff, and you can rebuild it if you can get it all back safe. Of course, that doesn't always happen. No, and, we've lost and two ships. We've already lost a couple ships. <sighs> Only one of them was a longboat. The first one, I didn't really care too much because it's just like like one bronze ingot. We Big died deal. a couple times trying or to no, get the four. second one. Four bronze ingots. But four bronze ingots isn't that much for where we're at right now. But ten iron ingots is kind of a harder thing to do at our current level. Just we need a... Uh, a hundred iron nails to make a long boat. I thought there was one more boat in Valheim after that, but the, really the long boat is this, the highest tier. They should they should give you one more tier, like one more higher, stronger boat. Yeah. Be sick. <laughs> The nails do float because Vero got our nails from one of the boats that died once. Yeah. But apparently it's not, like, um, reliable. I wonder if it's because we both died and then, like, at the same time that we both died, they were smashing the boat. So, like, we were transferring away as the boat was being destroyed. But you know how when stuff... It didn't get destroyed, though. Because it was still on the shore when we came up the second time. And then it just disappeared. And then it disappeared. Although the cargo seemed to be floating. There was four boxes from two boats. It had to have been destroyed. Yeah. It, it was just weird. It, it like bugged out or something. Yeah, it was a bug.
Polka, you gonna come back and play? You were a mean cart handler that one day. <laughs> <laughs> Your house needs needs some love. Or at least I think it's your house. It might be Psycho's. I'm not sure whose house it is. Oof. Done. Wait, one more. Last one. Just gotta do the final tier. I got my stuff back from the boat, but it was on the rocks, shallow water. Oh, man. Yeah, I think they recently put in a patch that was supposed to make things float or more things float. But at least for, uh, for us on our server, I've noticed that not everything floats. Some things just go to the bottom and disappear. And if you're in shallow water, you can like jump high and like from like a, a bridge or something and you like fall deeper into the water. And if you go low enough to the bottom, it can pull up what's on the floor. But that doesn't always work. Polka says, I want to come back. We want you to come back, Polka. You got to send me your friend code. You're wanted. Yeah, you have uh, Drifty's running the server now, so you have to send it to Drifty. So close to finishing here. It's a million degrees in this room. It's supposed to snow tomorrow, though. Hot today, gonna snow tomorrow. Snow tomorrow. <laughs> There we go. Okay, cool. Okay, we we got that. Let's look inside the game and see if all of the recipes show up. Oh, big stretches. Connect. Black mage. Crafting. Weapons. Let's make sure that they're all there. Bronze, iron, mithril, obsidian, adamantium. Devastate, deosite, more fight, Esper guy. Oh, Poker doesn't get off work until 10 p.m. tonight? Ow! 
kind of inhumane job do you have, Poco? Do you work at a factory? Factories do that to you. I worked at factories for almost... Gosh, how long did I work at factories? Almost 10 years. Terrible, wow. terrible. You get paid a lot, but that you're a slave. Look at all these recipes. It's going to be a nightmare to go oh through all gosh. these. <laughs> That's insane. That's a lot of stars, too. Yeah, there's 13 tiers. Iron, bronze, iron, mithril. Oh, the description on iron is messed up. Is that for all of them? Yep. Vino, we're supposed to get snow tomorrow and Thursday. At least that's what the one weather thing that I look at said. It's not always right. I see turnips. They're not ready yet, but they look better. Yeah, man, that's nice. And then the shields. Okay, so the iron needs to be... The description on all the iron items need to be fixed. Can't believe I killed one of the turnips with a mace. It's awful. Only that for shield. Well, the crafting system is there now. If you are able to find the materials, the crafting is in the game. Now the players have access to the arsenal. That is the giant database. Sick. The biggest one to go through is all the weapons. Jeez. <laughs> Alright, Waffles, I'm bringing it back right now. I forgot. <laughs> That's pretty long. Vero was using the community one. He said you had one. <laughs> the description's uh, quite... Yeah, I have a hoe. You want to use it? The description's wrong on some of these. You can use my hoe waffles. <laughs> let me update. Hold on, let me throw both at you right now. Here we go. I'll search for iron. You I need know. a hoe? All iron. Find next iron. Oh wait, start at the top. Find next iron. Just give me the hoe back. That's the only one I got. Let's copy this. Paste this. Find next. Paste this. Go to armors, go to the top, control F, find iron. Hmm. Oh, because I'm using the frameworks, it's showing all of them. Let's not check the note box then. And then I just saw a bug on this item. Does it say plus nine hundred and seventy-five though? 
Where is it getting the plus 975? Equip set. Not sure. Not sure. Anyway, that's a ton of updates to the database. I'm happy about that. All the crafting recipes for the weapons and armors are in. Well, most of them. Now I just need to add more dungeons and make them look better. And re actually, I wanted to reduce the size real quick. The pink dungeon was a little bit large. That's what she said. <laughs> yeah, there you go. <laughs> 60 to 60. That, that's a little bit better. Guys, that's where we're going to end the live stream. Thank you guys so much for coming. Appreciate it. Come join us on Valheim. Message me on the Discord. Like this video. Subscribe to the YouTube channel. Love you very much. We'll see you guys tomorrow, 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Have your questions ready. Yeah. All right, bye. Bye. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for joining us today. Thank you guys so much for thank you guys so much for joining us today. I hope you have a fantastic time. Please follow us on Twitter. Like this video, subscribe to the YouTube channel, join us on Discord.